All right, welcome to episode four of Tiny Rogues. I am loving this game. Uh, we're on the third run, as you can see. Been doing pretty well so far. Uh, we're mastery level seven, so of course we need to add a couple things here. Um, I think I'm gonna do this thing now. I was talking about this last episode. Uh, let's grab the three additional red dice. It's just nice to change up the room a lot. Um, and then we have weapons gain 25% chance to spawn with pre-enchanted. Or weapons gain 25% chance to spawn with plus one upgrade level. I think I would rather do the pre-enchanted. And hopefully these don't mean that you can enchant with a bad enchantment, but I guess we'll find out. I did say I was going to maybe run the Pyromancer this time, so I think I will do that. But what what do we have here? We have uh, some Mastery XP. So it says Double Edged Sword. Bosses have 25% less health and armor in the first phase, but 25% more health and armor in the second phase. Okay. Your starting weapon has a negative enchantment. Weapons are more likely to spawn with a negative enchantment. Oh boy. Okay, so you can get extra XP based on how much Cinder you have. We are on a streak of three. I don't know if that actually does, any, does anything for me, but... Floors contain up to three times more packs. Ooh! Stamina regeneration is delayed by plus three seconds of floor one to... Honestly? That's an easy XP. I don't even feel like I reuse uh, do my dashing too much on the first few floors. But we're going to find out that that's probably going to kill me. So, uh, oh well. Uh, also... Am I on? I am on this tier right now. Okay, so we have uh, th two more deaths to kill to get to the next level, and uh, we're still um, we're still missing quite a few characters. We have to get our uh, a spear or pole arm to level four. Forty intelligence. We've gotten twenty six before. Maybe this is the one where we get uh, forty intelligence. We can get a wizard. Fifty keys. We're we're getting there. <laughs> oh my god. Defeat death with ten different classes. Okay. Defeat death while having five or more curse. Uh, like literally, I have zero curse, so it might be might mean that we have to start taking curse at some point. Visit the tavern ten times and spend gold. So you know things that that will just naturally happen over time. Let's get into it. So we start off with a an orbital. Let's see. The offhand grants a flame orbital. Okay. Increased fire hit damage and we do fire damage. Okay, so int right away. Oh, so this is like a fire explosion. I can't tell. Does this go where my mouse is? No, it does not. It kind of goes forward. I mean, you see three strength, you take three strength. 10 to 15 gold. Let's get a key. We might need keys. Okay, so comfortable start. The stamina regeneration is a bit slow, I see, but... Okay, we see strength, we take strength. I don't need bombs! Not the biggest range on this gun, either, or... Staff, either. Stomping Blessing. Super effective multiplier. Okay, I'm gonna hold on to that. Well, we gotta visit the tavern, so I might as well do that. What do you think of my weapon? You like it? Yikes, not the best weapon. Great. Thank you. Uh, I honestly think we just go. We just go for intelligence. I think getting 40 intelligence isn't that bad. Grants two keys. I think we do that. Let's get some early keys. Let's make it, uh, make them count later. I'm not gonna use a key to go through for strength. I'm gonna grab another key. Let's try to force the uh, the fire build here. Rare item, yes please. You see rare, we take it. Okay, not bad. Honestly, it might be worth putting on the uh, the phase one lower armor and health, just because phase two of some bosses aren't even harder. All right, let's get an epic. What's the a rare? Sorry, what is this? Tailwind and swiftness. No, thank you. Dropping a bomb. Nope. This is all horrible. Yep. All right, floor number two. We got the forgotten mines. Two soul hearts. You know, I'm going for the intel intelligence. I don't really care. 
not really happy with the items we got last last boss, so let's hope for something better. Mm, that did not do anything. Let's go for strength. Nice thing about fire is you can just kind of let things burn and then move on to the next enemy. Uncommon weapons. Let's get a new weapon. New staff, please. Sticky goo. Reduces movement speed and lasts four seconds. Eh. It does have burning on it, but... Let's see. Two attacks per second. Two attacks per second. And three attacks per second. Am I really going to go with the slime wand? Blade summon tome. It's a D rating on scaling. Oof. It has the burning. I think we should just take the burning. Sure. It's not great, though. Let's be honest. Oh, boy. Damage isn't great, but it does attack faster. We get our first level up. On kill and combat start spawns a mana star. Eh. On the tally of five burn ticks on an enemy when a burning enemy dies, trigger a fiery burst. Yep, yep. Pyromancer. I could have sworn we got some bombs, but apparently we didn't. So was that the explosion there? I'm not even sure. That's the explosion right there. Okay. I would say that seems pretty good. Let's get some bombs. I'm liking this so far. Let's go for the event. There's a lever here? Sure. Oh! Okay. Dwarven Crimson Staff. Dwarven. Plus one to all scalings. Oh, wow. Okay, that's interesting. Primary attack deals energy damage. This is also Dwarven. Are these all, all Dwarven? They're all Dwarven. A, A, and E. Or A, E, and E. This is E, E, and A. And C, B, and E. I'm going to take the Crimson Staff because... Because of that. <laughs> and I'm going to take my first ever curse. So what's going on? It seems you've been cursed. Curse can have a variety of negative effects, and it's basically the opposite of luck. The more stacks of curse you have, the more cursed your existence will feel. Curse also grants cursed hit chance, and cursed hit chance roll twice for critical hits, and have to succeed the roll twice to crit. Additionally, cur curse can also downgrade room rewards. Ugh. This just sounds all awful. This is why I avoid curse. Okay, so using this weapon removes my orbital, but I don't really care about the orbital too much. Let's go for a charm here. Noisy brat. This hits the damage on both both beams. This is not bad at all. Grants 100% increased orbital speed. Okay, it's just it's actually just trolling me now. Uh, we'll just take the quip load. Maybe we can, because I mean, if I'm building into int int intelligence, then we're gonna have to find a way to make our equip load go higher because strength is the way to get our equip load up. I think every strength gives you five equip load. I'll take the dex and strength. I'm loving the range in this weapon. Now I think because these are all plants, I'm actually doing uh, a super effective damage. Yeah, let's take some Fish and chips. Very nice. Okay, we'll take uh, intelligence again. No more railgun builds. I'd like something different today. Side item. I don't know if I care about that, but we have, we have five keys. I'm going to go in here. Strength, intelligence, negative. I don't really want minus intelligence. We could go for just a 
fish and chips. I think I'm going to do that so we can level up. Gain 100% stats from intelligence, but gain no stats from strength or dexterity. That's really pushing us into the whole intelligence build. Your equip load capacity is halved, but you gain 100% crushing hit chance. I think I'm actually going to do that. Uh, crushing hits are guaranteed to roll top end damage. Because we're just going to hit top end damage the whole time. But that does mean that our equip load is now 55. Uh, yeah. Which I don't think is that bad. I think we definitely do that. So now we're going to be hitting the, the 775 every time, I think. If that, if I'm correcting what I'm assuming here. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I'll take crushing hit chance 100% all the time. That, that sounds great. There's a big chest. Visit the tavern again. Uh, what is this guy? Storm in a bottle. No, thank you. 50 gold. Gross. I think I'm just going to go. Do I want to upgrade this gun or weapon? I don't think so. I think for now, I think we just go with extra keys. My god, this is disgusting. Take intelligence again. So unfortunately we are very light. We have to wear like only 55, but we just need to go for like strength and then we can get higher equip load. Okay, this is stupid. We just seem to always find like a good build that works for us. That is that is what Tiny Rogues is all about. It's sort of adapting to what you're given. Ooh, what are these? Roller skates. Orbital speed again. Hmm. I'll take the heart. Survivability is uh, is key in this game, and I think that we just go for things that keep us alive. All right. I've never seen chocolate before. Let's go for it. Not that I really want to reduce my dexterity, but anything to get closer to 40 intelligence, I'm down. Let's get some dice too. All right. Add the extra dice is great. Let's go for a locked obsidian chest. It's a small room. Grants two stamina. It's a helmet. I would prefer that at least, but it, is it is it more expensive? No, it's only 10. I'll take that. So now I have extra stamina. Is that, okay, wait. I thought I, okay, maybe I have to, I have to attune first. Okay, I see, I see, I see. Um, let's go here. Let's sell this. Let's sell this. Perfect. Um, do we have any set items? We don't really. But do I want to upgrade anything? No, I don't particularly care for this weapon that much. The scaling is good, but the attacks aren't that great. We get something more interesting than a beam. Beams are cool and all, but I don't know if I... Ooh, this is just a free armor. Ooh. You know what? I'm going for the obsidian chest. What was that curse? Was that like we got a cursed enemy in here or something? Holy crap. Oh no. I mean, my fire build's kind of ruined, but one armor and two to upgrade level is kind of crazy. And it has to be attuned for one level? Okay. Let's go for some more money. Does this have a minimum, like a maximum range, or does it just go through the whole room? I feel like it just goes. Oh, I see the end there. Okay. Uh, we'll go for this. I don't want to curse myself again.
My goodness. Oh, that was over. Very quickly. What do you got for me? Oh yeah, so now the stamina is working. Three epics. Grants 20% cursed hit, hit chance? Wait, why would I want that? Grants and fiery ball. <laughs> uh, no. Oh, extra resale to value is great. Hopefully we can get a pawn shop and just sell a bunch of stuff for a lot of money. I would say we're in a good spot, but like, it doesn't feel that strong of a run. We are still dealing fire damage to enemies, so we are still able to, still able to make use of the uh, fire explosion trait that we got. What do we got here? Grants you an aura that inflicts burn and debuffs enemies. I mean, we are a pyromancer. I feel like it's just appropriate we take this. Oh, snap. That's a pretty big aura, actually. What do we have here? Nope. Cold damage. Burning. This has good damage, but the scaling is not great. Let's... Let's try this weapon. I don't feel like it's going to be that great. Oh, it's very short range. Oh, that's not good. Uh, let's go for keys. Okay. Do I want to go in this? I think I do. What do we have here? Uh, beam sword. And it's a legal beam sword, so it has increased attack speed. Actually, these illegals have different effects. This one's illegal attack speed, this one's critical chance. Um I think we go for oh, maximum heart is $37. Oh wait, fire weapon? Is this considered a fire weapon? Let me see, I'm level level plus three? That did not count well unfortunate yep that's unfortunate <laughs> okay well it costs 20 souls not the end of the world horse companion this is c scaling on beam sword but i, I think i'm just gonna stick with what i got i don't want to spend too much money you can sell this i don't know if i want to get rid of this yet let's hold on to this Three decks? Sure. Okay. Shop. We have $78. We can do that. All right. We got a meat shank for three strength with 16 gold. I honestly think I go into strength here just to get my equip load up a little bit. Because I think this will get us up to 67. Uh, where's the equip load? Oh, right here. Six, yeah, 67. So that was 20 extra equip load, but because we have the half equip load, it is only 10. Let's go for a lock chest that contains a weapon. I'm not sure how good the Dragon Slayer stash is, but I think it is a higher quality. Let's see. Now, what in the heck is this? It's crappy, man. It deals sound damage. So am I always attacking in the direction that I want to attack? I, I don't know. <laughs> it's apparently a two-handed bell. It's the heaviest bell I've ever seen. We don't have any gloves. Let's do this. This seems like it could be good, but like... They home! Wait, I think this is actually pretty good. Even though it's crappy, I think it's actually doing good damage. Is that better than my... This staff? I think it actually might be right now. That's kind of sad. Okay, we got all like uncommon gloves. Or uncommon items. School uniform. Plus one power. 
Each point of intelligence gains plus one power. Increased area of effect. Does that actually inc uh, include my my ring of fire here? Body armor, but then I get rid of my upgrade level. I don't think I want to do that. Uh, this is like mark reward. I don't even know what that does. Adds plus two to unarmed dexterity scaling and, and adds 30 to 70 unarmed damage. I don't even know what that... Like, I, I don't want to punch people. Let's move on. Okay, we got uh, the cursed music stage. This bell is actually kind of good, even though it has a crappy status on it. It probably wouldn't even be close to as good if we didn't have the top end damage guarantee. Okay, what do we got here? Holy three hearts. Balrog heart. Interesting. I don't care for either of these. I actually think this thing's, this thing's better. I don't know. I, maybe I'm crazy. It seems pretty strong. Okay, we got Cursed. Tequila. 25% critical hit multiplier. Okay. Because the bell sends out five things at once, I think overall the damage output is just better. But we've for completely forgotten about the fire build. Nice. Oh, Love curses. Awesome. While you have only dealt one elemental damage type in the past four seconds, you gain 100% increased effect of elemental ailments. I think I'm only doing fire damage. And if I use this, then this might actually be worth it. Let's go for a shop here. Burning. Has radiant damage. Okay, nope. Radiant attack. Nope. You know, you can keep your scrolls. Do we go in on this or do we go in on the bell? The bell... <laughs> the bell is crappy on it, man. I, I, I don't know. I... It's still doing crazy damage. And it scales with everything decently. C, C, C across the board. I don't know. I, let's let's go in with the fire because we have the upgrade that gives us fire increased elemental damage. Let's, let's do it. I might regret that, but let's move on. Okay, I'm not regretting that, to be honest. Obsidian chest. On Curse Critical Hit, gain Atonement. And Atonement is a buff that grants 100% increased attack speed in the last 4 seconds. Okay, so now I have a kind of a reason to get Cursed Hits. I see that. And that is an offhand. So unfortunately, we cannot use it. Oh. <laughs> Why must the game be like this? This boss is actually quite complicated, but I feel like I never see its full its full cycle. Oh, we got an epic over here. Accessory increased melee damage. Nope. Periodically launch th launch three fireball mortars every five seconds. I mean that just sounds fun, but it is a helmet. You know what? My helmet's kind of trash. So let's do it. Why is a flower pot doing fire damage? I don't question it. Okay, now I'm feeling like sort of the, the pyromancer I was I was born to be. Speaking of fire, this is quite the stage. Let's go for dice. Nice. Let's get some more bombs. I don't really care about melee weapons. We're going like pretty deep into the uh, intelligence build here. Rare weapons. Let's try. Mm, we need gold. Ah, oh, but three rare weapons is so hard to pass up. Inflict a stack of doom. Doom is a stackable status effect that consumes all stacks to deal 100% of accumulated affliction damage. That is interesting. This is fire though. 
Okay, it's a fire scimitar plus six. I I think I want to take that just because it's a plus six. I don't even know that's I didn't even know that's possible. Let's try it. Okay, attacks decently fast. Okay, I don't actually think this is that good. I don't think that's that good. Let me reread that. Primary attacks deal fire damage, and on critical hit with this weapon, trigger a fiery burst. But my critical hit chance is not great, I don't think. Tw okay, actually, never mind. It's kind of crazy. I don't know. I feel like it's hard to get, like, to warrant getting that close. Let's sell the three hearts. Wait, also, is this... Plus eight. Okay, I thought it was plus uh, uh, plus eight because of the uh, the charm or the the body armor. But no, it was already so it was a plus four scimitar that adds two more levels. We sell this for twenty. Let's sell this guy. How much does the bell sell for? Okay, honestly, it's the game is telling me the bell is not that great. You want the tequila? No, you don't. I don't know if I want to sell this fire coat yet. Speaking of upgrades. Is this scimitar able to be upgraded? No, neither can be. Let's get let's get my armor back. Let's go to the tavern to up our, our count. Hi, Santa. Give me a present. What do you have for me? A consumable XP? Don't mind if I do. We have the black market again? What is this guy here? Enchant your weapon. What do we have on here? Dwarven. I don't know if I want to remove that. I don't even know if the scimitar is that good, but let's 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 enchant it. Why not? Poisoned. Well, I kind of ruined my whole single element situation. <laughs> uh, I don't know. I don't know. 13 gold for 3 strength. This does scale with strength a little bit. So, I'll take it. Permanently grants plus 1 mana. No. Well, actually... So, I think that what I've discovered, I think is you, you get reduced damage when you uh, are using the red mana. So, you know what? Give me this. Give me an extra star. And you know what? I think that the, the upgrade level is worth reducing my fire damage by 20%. And let us move on. Trait tomes? What is this? Consumable tome. Replace the trait with arrogance. When you taunt or charm an enemy, gain arrogance. Arrogance is an emotion buff. I don't taunt or charm, so I think I'm going to sell that. I could find a better helmet. This this fire little like explosion thing isn't that great. Never really hits the enemies anyway. I'm trying to see a use for this scimitar. I don't know if there's really that much of a use for it. Because I feel like this is just easier to hit enemies with... Yeah, I don't know. Doesn't seem that good. I'm gonna gain some... Oh, I don't wanna use my... Okay, so apparently souls help mastery. So I don't really wanna use that. We don't have... an accessory. Grants 10% lucky hit chance with melee weapons. Nope. Nope. Okay. I think we just do this. So we have 23 intelligence right now. We, we have a long way to go to get to 40. But our multiplier is really high, and we have 28% chance for crits, so... And I think Dexterity increases our crit chance, or actually, maybe Intelligence does? Let's go for Strength. Nice. Refills a Flask, don't care.
Ow. I forgot I don't have uh, four points of, uh, <laughs> of stamina anymore. Anytime we can upgrade our, our intelligence, we take it. Sweet. Give us something good. Ooh. Oh. So does that increase? I think that increases our, our stats from like the, the accessory we just got. After not attacking first. Now, you know, what, honestly, I think we take this. I. Oh, no. Our equip load is so bad. Oh, I'm so dumb. I have to re-roll it. Unfortunately, I have to re-roll it. I did not realize that was like... Okay, wait. Before I do that... Oh, well, I have to do it now. Okay, well. What do we get instead? Cast on crit. Critical hits with melee and ranged attacks trigger an attack of a non-channeling magic weapon. Well, unfortunately, we are using... Well, we could use this to cast this. But this range is too small, unfortunately. I think I'm going to re-roll that again. So I think this would have given me a 48% multiplier with the stats. We'll never know. What do we have here? Ignition burst sounds good. Explosion damage inflicts burn. Okay. I don't think that actually works for me. Like, maybe off of these fireballs that explode, but... We're gonna we're gonna reroll again. Arcane familiar. Uh sure for now. I mean it's not an amazing trait, but Especially if it doesn't go attack things. Hello? How much does this tome sell for? He doesn't care? I can't even sell anything! Your companions gain critical hit chance equal to your current weapon critical hit chance. That seems decent. None of these really uh, speak to me beyond this guy, but the offhand doesn't even work, so none of them speak to me. Let's bomb for some gold. I will say this is the least confident I feel in a build so far in this game. Which isn't saying a whole heck of a lot because the last three rounds have been very overpowered. Take the item. Am I going to be this bad? I feel watched. What did I take? What did I take? Oh. Defy death. Interesting, so I can defy death once. Nice. Did I just get hit there? I think I just got hit. Very nice. That seems similar to the sewer rat fight, but a little bit easier, I think? Viking helmet. When you or your companions deal melee damage, you are granted a stack of rage. I don't think I care. 25 to our equip load. Uh, I kind of need that. The resale of items can be just used whenever we're going to resell, so I'm going to take the magic find. Now here's a loaded question. Can I resell the resell charm? Okay. I'm going to not use my souls and instead ooh, I'm going to grab the free armor because intel intelligence is great but when you're offered an armor just for free you take it. Nicely done. Very good. Legendary weapons. Yes. Oh, my God. What is that, Phoenix? What is that damage? S plus? 
but it is not even scaling with intelligence and that's how much damage it does already it's medium though it's kind of scary inferno orb wand wait the multiplier is crazy we seriously got a fire room that is kind of insane s plus one to upgrade level spawns up to three volcanoes this is wild <laughs> um the phoenix does stupid damage but i feel like the medium range is gonna suck because this is medium ra uh, range that's horrible this is far i think i go for the orb wand i don't know how much is my how much damage is this doing i also just realized this does energy damage so it's not even it's not actually working with the uh fire situation my character just does fire damage yeah it does fire okay so that's Mm. Oh, but spinning flails, flails are so fun. Oh. How much? I have 19 strength and 24. Honestly? Oh, we've got to do this. This sounds so fun. I just used my potion by accident again. I, d I, I can't even comprehend what is happening. Can you figure out what is happening? Because I cannot. I got hit. Okay, I'm actually at 1 H HP. So, oh, I'm not at 1 HP. I, I'm down to my soul heart. Flame shield. Is this a single-handed weapon? I'm assuming this is two-handed. It's not a two-handed weapon. Periodically inflict scorch to nearby enemies. I mean, that's going to bring our equip load up a little bit. But I think what I will do is I'll hold on to that for now. This is 10 equip load, and I don't really care about what it's doing. So let's do this. Let's put the flame shield on. And... Yeah, let's, let's run this. Yes, I'm happy with this. And let's upgrade it. Because we can, right? I think we can. We can! Very nice. Let's upgrade our armor back to full here. Uh, cursed magic stash? Nope. I mean, have you ever seen a... Have you ever seen a uh, a flaming flail wielding pyromancer? I don't think you have. I think you're lying if you say you have. We don't have any gloves, so let's take those. We need a little more strength, though. Okay, well, that wasn't the fastest fight, so I'm a little nervous. But our beams are just straight up, like, going after the boss. Blocked. Can't get close to him, man. <laughs> Jesus. Okay, block replenishes on the next stage, so I don't really care that I got hit. Epic gloves. Oh, no, wait a minute. Don't we have 100% crushing? Yeah, our chance is 100% already. What does that even mean? Grants 10, 20% increased stats granted to you by companions. Eh. Uh. Let's take these, but not wear them yet. Let's drink the wine. And let's take these off. I don't think having a, a greater than 100% crushing even does anything. Let's attune. And you know what? Let's recover once, just because. You lost my block already. Can't say that's my best performance.
I, I don't really know if, um, ooh, plus one heart. You can't turn that down. You just can't. That's... Oktoberfest? Okay. That that enemy with the, the star the star lasers might be my least favorite enemy in the game. Intelligence? How close are we to 40? Not even close, man. We're doing good damage, but everything has so much HP now. Pawn shop. Bye bye scimitar. Bye bye mark gloves. Bye bye Bible. Yep. Hmm. I don't think these are necessary. I'm gonna just sell them. And I'm gonna sell this guy. All right, we got 500 total gold, as my achievement says. So that's not too bad. I'm gonna add this tequila to my my situation. The spells one stack a curse. Yes, please. Let me purge the curse. And we move on. Is it the tavern? We're at full health. 10% increased damage to my fierce sun vortex here. I don't know if I want to change that. Let's just move on. Okay, one final rest. This is it. Do I feel strong? Do I feel confident? No. No, I don't. I also just realized I probably should have... I probably should have uh, tried to spend my money, but that's okay. Uh, no armor here. Do I try to exchange a stat? Let's let's do it. We've got one more of these. Let's let's exchange arcane familiar. It could really ruin me though. Reduce global tally threshold requirements by one. Uh, sure. This might be a pretty hard fight, actually. Okay. I'm doing alright, actually. I'm happy the first wave is done because I should be able to just hit him here as he does his beams. This is new. Oh, we're fine. Ow. Ow. What is hurting me? That was kind of scary. Near death experience, no problem. Handcuffs. Simple your offhand, but your weapon is considered a two handed weapon. That's pretty much. Why would you. I guess if you really need to be two handed, that's interesting. All right, moving on. Flaming Pyromancer of Doom. That was pretty good round. <laughs> I enjoyed that. I'm glad that we did end up making the uh, the, the fire build work. And here we go. Another another round in the books. We are four for four. This game is getting harder though as we upgrade the the world. Firemancer is not too bad. Fire build worked out pretty well. We're mastery level eight now. May almost nine too. So I don't know if the souls directly gave me XP. I think they did. But not bad. Um, we got some choices to make next time. So hope you guys enjoyed. I'm having a blast with this game. I hope you guys are too. Let me know what else you guys want to see on the channel. Uh, I'm still running the Crab Champions. And hopefully we'll be recording more Backroom soon. We'll see. But until next time, have a great day. And I'll catch you guys in the next one.